Hi, welcome to Brian Sews. Today on the show, we're attaching rivets. I think sewing your own jeans at home has become increasingly popular over the years, and especially with Jolly's new 2908 women's stretch jeans pattern, I think a lot of people are realizing that they can actually make jeans that look good and fit right at home. No need to buy ready to wear anymore. The problem is, is when you make your jeans at home, a lot of times they can look homemade, which is okay for me, but some people want them to look more ready to, ready to wear. One way you can make your jeans look more ready to wear is by using the appropriate hardware or rivets. Um, so we're going to talk about how to attach rivets. You, you can certainly buy expensive equipment. There's, it's like a, a kind of a press with special dies to, to, to attach your rivets. And if you're going to make hundreds of pairs of jeans, I think that's probably the way you should do it. If you're only going to be making a few pairs of jeans though, buying expensive equipment is probably not the way to go. So. I'm going to show you what you can do at home to attach rivets successfully. What I like to use is something called a bench block. These are available, you can probably pick them up cheapest on eBay. I think those cost me less than $20 after shipping. You can use any, any really smooth metal, but it has to be thick enough where you can pound on it with a hammer and it's going to hold its shape. So the bench block is probably the easiest way to do that. Uh, the other thing you need is a hammer. This is just a cheap hammer from Home Depot. What you do want to check is the head of the hammer needs to be smooth. And you know, even within the same brand and even with the, on the same you know, row of hammers there, you know, you'll find some that are more or less smooth. So just look at the head of the hammer here and make sure that's a nice smooth surface. The other thing you'll need is a nail that matches the post on the rivet or you know, similarly matches that. This is just a little finishing nail. And I, I use, this is, this is my clapper, and I'll, I use the side of the clapper to hammer into what I'm, uh, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But you'll just need some, some sort of block of wood to hammer your nail into. So basically there's three types of rivets. There's nipple rivets, ring rivets, and capped rivets. There might be more rivets, but these are the three types that I'm aware of. Um, the type of rivets that you could, so the, the ones you can attach at home, basically would be your ring and your capped. The nipple rivet has a little, it's like a little nipple on it. And because you're hammering on a flat surface, that will distort the nipple. That's, this is a rivet that you would, you would probably have to have a special die to, you know, have a little indention for that uh, to attach properly. So we're gonna, we're gonna skip nipple rivets because those just won't really work very well with this technique. Um, rivets are not as hard to come by as people think. One source for rivets is eBay. Um, you can find sellers selling small batches of rivets there uh, for, for fairly decent prices. Uh, the other, my favorite source for rivets is actually a website called grommetmart.com. They have a great selection of rivets and buttons, uh, like jeans buttons. People, I think when they go to the website, they're, you know, they see the quantity and they're like, oh, I don't want to buy rivets in bulk because, you know, what am I going to do with a hundred rivets? Well, it might be bulk, but I, you, if you pay like $12 plus shipping for 100 rivets. So yeah, you're going to have a lot of rivets, but you'd be surprised at how fast they go. You'll go through at least you know five or six rivets just figuring out how to make them go on the fabric properly. And then you know if you're attaching rivets to your jeans, you can use you know quite a few rivets on a pair of jeans. So, so let's get started. The way you basically do this is I'm going to get out a rivet here. I'm going to be using a ring rivet for this little demonstration. And what you do, this is four layers of heavy denim, just to, as a little sample here. What we're going to do first is we're going to, you, with our nail and our hammer, we're going to pound the nail through the denim. And I like to stick it through and kind of twist it around a little bit. Then what I'm going to do, so when I pull it out, I'm going to stick my rivet through immediately. And you want to stick it through with the post, the post side of the rivet goes in the back. So, you know, on the inside of the jeans. And what I like to do is if I'm going to be doing more than one rivet, I will, so stick that post through so you don't lose your hole, I will go ahead and pound some more holes, make sure that's actually big enough, I can just kind of stick it through, pound some more holes and I'll stick all my rivets into my jeans all at the same time. The, the holes tight enough where you're 
your rivet will, you know, the post will stick, stay in the fabric. So I'll just do that so I don't lose all my holes. The next thing you want to do is you stick your rivet cap on your little post, and it doesn't, it's not like it'll stay there. It's, it's you know, it'll just kind of balance there. Turn this over. Put my bench block here. Make sure I have a nice smooth spot. Even these bench blocks sometimes, this one has a scratch on it. You don't, if it's not perfectly smooth, you will mar the surface of your rivet. The rivets a lot of times have finishes, antiquing type stuff, and that will scratch off. Um, so I'm gonna turn this upside down, keeping my rivet cap on the bottom. And it's kind of a little bit, you know, it's a little bit fiddly. What I like to do though, because I'm gonna be hammering, is I like to use, you don't wanna obviously hold this with your fingers because you're, you're hammering there. So I'll use the fabric to hold the rivet where I want it. And then what I do is you just take your hammer and you hammer it right in. And it takes a bit of hammering to do this. And the way you can tell that it's in far enough is when you look on the other side, on the right side basically where the cap is, when you bend the fabric you don't want to see a lot of rivet lip sticking up. If that sticks up that will be what catches on things, what scratches your leather, um, you know, it, that, that will be, that will cause problems. It, that'll also cause the rivet to eventually loosen up and, and fall off. On the inside, you'll see that the, the inside will slightly, um, it kind of slightly, you know, it'll, it'll squish down a little bit.